Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be taking this 2021 Hyundai Santa Fe. The Santa Fe was facelifted for 2021. And this one is the SEL trim. This one does not have any packages. There is two packages that you could choose from. There is a premium package and there is a convenience package. The premium package is almost a $4,000 option. And the convenience package is $1,700. But let's go ahead and take this Santa Fe SEL trim on a test drive and see how it does. All right, let's go ahead and take this 2021 Hyundai Santa Fe on a test drive and see how it does. Here is the shifter that Hyundai changed uh, for this face lifted uh, Santa Fe. They were using a normal uh, gear shifter. Right now it's their button shifter. And here is the screen. Here is the reverse camera. Right, so taking this 2021 Hyundai Santa Fe SEL trim with the 2.5 naturally aspirated four cylinder engine and uh, there is another engine choice that you could uh, choose but you have to go for the limited trim and the calligraphy or calligraphy whatever is it called uh, but uh, yeah so this one has a 2.5 naturally aspirated that is connected to an eight-speed automatic transmission and uh, it's nice and responsive, doesn't feel weak, and uh, this SUV feels nice and light, even though it's almost 4,000 pounds. It does have the engine shut off, and uh, this metal console just looks honestly amazing. This facelifted Santa Fe is very nice. Hyundai, I think, did a great job with the facelift. Usually companies do not really do that much when it comes to just a refresh. But uh, Hyundai seriously did a great job. That's a link keep assist. And honestly, this engine is not too bad. It's uh nice and responsive at first it's a little bit on the lazy side but then once it gets going keeps just pulling and uh, that is something that is really nice comfortable ride suspension is nice and soft steering wheel is very nice and direct and uh, the SUV moves to the direction that you um, uh, you move the steering wheel so there is no empty spot it's nice and direct and overall, such a beautiful SUV. Uh, let's go ahead and set the cruise control. The, the link keep assist is active. I just activated the steering assist and I'm gonna go ahead and activate the, let's see. I just activated the adaptive cruise control. So it's going to follow the car in front of me and it's going to keep a certain distance between me and the car in front of me. And the SUV is driving by itself. And you could incre increase the distance between the car in front of you and uh, decrease it if you want to. The uh, sound inside the cabin, it's nice and quiet doing 62-ish miles per hour. Uh, but when cars are passing by, there is a little bit of noise coming into the cabin. There is barely any road noise, but um, probably over my um, over the camera that you guys are hearing a good amount of road noise is just because of my camera but in person it's honestly nice and quiet in here 
But anyways, under the hood, they're going to be a 2.5 naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine that is connected to an eight-speed automatic transmission. It's not a dual clutch. You only get the dual clutch when you get the 2.5 turbocharged four-cylinder engine. So this one only has an eight-speed automatic transmission and the dual clutch is Hyundai's new uh, wet dual clutch transmission. I did actually drive the 2.5 turbo, but I drove it at night. Engine is responsive, transmission is responsive. Paddle shifters are responsive as well. Downshifting is nice and quick. Upshifting are slow. Well, let's go ahead and put it in sport mode. And by the way, the horsepower numbers are 191 horses and 181 pound-feet of torque. Not too bad from this uh, SUV. And the price on this one is 32,000. It does have the engine shut off. So when you come to complete stop, the engine is off right now. Even sport mode. It works. So that's uh, that's really cool that even in sport mode it works. A lot of companies when you put put their cars on sport mode, uh, the engine kicks in. Yep, definitely in sport mode. The engine becomes more responsive, transmission becomes more aggressive. And it does go all the way to the first gear. So something that I don't like about this engine is that this engine, sometimes it's nice and responsive and sometimes it's not responsive at all. So um, it really depends on what gear you are in and what speed you're going. So it's a little bit on the annoying side, but that turbo that I drove the other day was very quick. It had 277 horses and 311 pound-feet of torque and handled very good. And this one is not too bad. I did not push this one hard around corners, but uh, the other one that I drove with the other engine was just honestly amazing. And if you guys are curious about the fuel economy numbers on this one, they're not the best. I think that Hyundai could have done a, done a tiny bit better. Uh, the MPGs are 22 in the city, 25 highway, and 24 combined. And uh, for a 2.5 naturally aspirated, aspirated four-cylinder engine, I think Hyundai could have done a little bit better, probably with the highway numbers at least. I think 28 or 29 miles per ga gallon would have been good on the highway, but 25 is a little bit on the lower side. safety system is amazing and this Santa Fe seriously is beautiful this screen is an 8 inch screen that has Apple CarPlay Android Auto super responsive and um, very nice this SEL trim the one I'm in is 32,000 and this one has the all-wheel drive system so you could get SEL trim with front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive if you want to Go ahead and put it in sport mode and uh, let's see how it does here. So, no wheel spin, and it's expected. And I was actually turning right and going uphill, so. That was good, but of course this engine is weak, so it's not going to get those tires uh, spinning. So I would say it's a good system, so it's uh, it's not too bad. But uh, of course it's not fair since this engine is not strong enough. Uh, I really wish it was like a tiny bit more wet. Uh, this would have been a really good test, uh, but it's uh, very. Uh, as you can see it's very dry 
and uh, it's not really cold outside it's uh, almost 40 degrees outside but let's go ahead and see if we can brake boost it and let's go ahead and turn off the traction control I doubt anything gonna happen so we're gonna brake boost it definitely nothing impressive doesn't push you back to the seat and it's expected of course this is a family SUV um, it's not a turbocharged uh, engine as well so it's expected from this uh, SUV uh, but off the line it was super slow and then after a second or two it, it started to accelerate so there is a good amount of basically lag even with brake boosting but this SUV is very nice very comfortable and uh, it has basically all the nice uh, features it does have the climate control up top here is Hyundai new shifter here is the mode selector engine shut off brake hold heated seats in this SEL trim hill descent here is a, a button to turn on the camera and there is this place right here where you could where you could put your phone basically slides in and it doesn't really move that much two cup holders and they're going to be a USB right here as I told you guys this SUV sometimes it's very responsive and sometimes it's not it's a little bit weird even with sport mode being activated sometimes it's slow sometimes it's uh, fast it really have it really depends on what speed and what gear the SUV is in but other than that guys super comfortable and very quiet in here brakes feel very nice and solid and does have blind spot monitoring system, but does not have turn signal indicators for 32,000. I really wish it had turn signal indicators and it does not have the sunroof. Back seats are nice and spacious. Good amount of headroom and legroom. Um, the rear view mirror, it's nice and frameless. On the limited trims, you will get LED lights, but on this SEL trim, you will get halogen lights. solid yeah definitely super confident pedal shifters on the steering wheel gauges look very good there are going to be some buttons right here on the steering wheel adaptive cruise control and here are the phone controls volume controls down here they're going to be the brightness control electronic e-brake traction control link assist and uh, seriously a very nice comfortable SUV there are going to be some storage place right there seats are nice and comfortable and uh, no complaints but um, engine is a little bit on the weaker side but it's not too bad so guys what do I think about the Santa Fe I think it's a great SUV uh, the engine I wish it was a little bit more responsive it does have a good amount of horsepower and torque but probably the engine doesn't work really good with this 8-speed automatic transmission but that 8-speed automatic transmission is nice and responsive but anyways I really enjoyed uh, driving this 2021 Santa Fe SEL trim. I would like to thank Faraz here at Key Hyundai in Milford, Connecticut for providing me this beautiful 2021 Hyundai Santa Fe. If you guys are around, make sure to come check them out. I'm gonna go ahead and put the information and link in the bottom of this video. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe and as always, I'll see you next time.